Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, in this video, we're just going to show you how to get set up with our launcher and custom programs, uh, as well as install and uh, change the settings of your prefer preferred mod. Um, so with that said, let's just roll right into it. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is just open up the zip that you either got from Nexus Mods, YouTube, or Discord, etc. Um, and inside there, you're going to see a single folder called Remodded Files. Um, we're also going to open um, your main Diablo 2 uh, resurrected directory. Um, so again, this will be, you know, the one with your EXE, your mods folder, if you already have another mod installed, etc. And we're just going to drag this entire folder uh, into your main folder. And that's all we need to do with the zip. We're all set with that. Um, now that it's in our folder, we're just going to go inside here. Uh, then we're going to select our launcher folder. Um, and once we um, have that open, uh, we'll select the EXE and we just want to create a shortcut real quick um, or pin it to your taskbar just so it's easy to get to in the future and you're not, you know, having to go in this folder every time. So I've pinned it to my taskbar here, um, so I'm just going to launch it from there. Um, before I launch it, I'm just going to show you if you try to launch it and you get an error. Um, so you get a box like this that pops up that say, hey, you have to install .NET. Um, that's a simple fix. All we're going to do is just go to the .NET or Microsoft website, sorry, um, and we're going to select this option here um, for our download. Now, I have included these uh, downloads in the video link, so you can uh, definitely just uh, use those if you'd like. Um, but if you want to download it manually, it's just important that you select the .NET desktop runtime and not the top option for the ASP.NET Core runtime. Um, so again, uh, those are included in the description, uh, but we're, for most of you, you're going to use the 64-bit version here. And uh, so we'll just assume that you've downloaded that and installed it, um, and that'll take care of your uh, .NET error. Um, but anyways, with that said, um, once you've taken care of that, or if uh, you already had it, uh, when we start our launcher, I've just uh, clicked it on the taskbar here, um, you're going to have a new uh, update available for the launcher itself. So we're going to let that um, go and update real quick. And then we're also going to have a stasher update available if you're a newer player. Um, and that is like our custom vault program. So we're going to let that update as well. Um, both of those are completely normal if you see pop-ups for that. Um, so don't worry about that there. And uh, it's almost done. And then that launcher itself will open here. All right, there we go. Um, so this is our custom launcher. We use this so we can not only um, keep track of all the mod files and auto update them for you guys, um, but it'll allow you to change uh, themes, monster density, you know, all sorts of different uh, customizations that we have. Um, so we are going to go into all the new kind of features um, in our new player guide in the next video, um, but this is just going to show you how to get things actually installed and set up. Um, so the first thing you want to do as a new player is just check out our mod choice drop down box here. This is where you can select which mod you want to play. Um, and obviously as a new player, you're not going to have any of the files yet for the actual mods. Um, so you can also select which mod you'd like to download here. So we're going to say that you wanted to try our overhaul mod remodded. And uh, we're going to just make sure that's selected and then download the mod files for it. Um, so this will just take uh, you know, a couple minutes depending on your uh, internet speed here. But while that's downloading, I'll explain some of the other things the launcher does. Um, so it'll also allow you to change your UI theme. Um, so we have our own spin on the UI to kind of clean things up and just uh, provide a different experience there. Um, so let's just say we wanted to select that for our UI theme. Um, obviously, you can change your language to whatever you prefer, uh, your player count if you'd like to modify that. Um, you can force specific maps or you can force maps to regenerate. Um, so if you want to emulate that kind of online feeling of having a new map every time. Um, and you can also enable the in-game character respec option. Uh, and finally, um, we have the map layouts where you can force specific map layouts if you'd like to kind of cheese the experience a little bit, um, you know, for your own, your own benefit there. Um, but while I've been talking, it uh, looks like our uh, mod files have been downloaded and all that's unzipping now. And there we go. So the unzip's complete. Uh, we can start the mod. So I'm going to go ahead and select the play button. Um, and it should launch up for no problem with you guys. Um, so we should see our customer modded like video intro and stuff. Here we go.
Um, so we know the mod's definitely loaded, um, and you can see some of our UI changes and stuff already, um, as well as you know our mod menus and things like that. So we're all good there. We're going to go ahead and exit out. Um, we can also see again that we can do the same thing with Vanilla Plus Plus. We don't currently have that mod. It does not download both of them for you automatically, uh, just in case you only wanted one of them. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just get that one downloaded as well. Um, but then you can start seeing some of the other things we can do. Um, you can change uh, in-game fonts. So if you want something a little different, um, we have an icon system for like a lot of the common icon or uh, common things like uh, town portal scrolls, gems, runes, etc. that you'll find dropping uh, just to shorten them up some and free up your screen space. Um, and then for vanilla plus plus and coming later to remodded, um, we have our customizations menu, um, which will let you change, uh, you know, champion spawns, XP rates, monster density, all that kind of stuff. Um, but again, our vanilla plus plus mod is done. And if we wanted to, for example, use the standard UI, maybe you weren't feeling that, you know, different UI theme, we can select standard UI and we can select play again. And this should now launch the other mod with the standard UI instead. And here we go. So we can see it is the mod. We got our mod info button here, as well as all, all of our changes. Um, but it is using the standard UI still, if you prefer that. Um, so I hope this has been a, a quick video that you know helped you understand uh, all the new changes that are coming and how to use the things. Um, and then again, with the next video, we'll show you some of the new features and uh, demonstrate our, our changes. Have a great day, and thanks for sticking around to the end. Take care. Bye.